Hey guys, Roman Chess here with Mission Forge, and today we are going to be talking about six things that help keep you cooler while blacksmithing. Now, the thing is with blacksmithing, guys, especially here in the south, it gets really, really hot. Here, if you look at my, this picture I put up here, it's 100 degrees in my garage by the door, which is about 30 feet away, not even a line of fire of this forge, and directly in the forge is well over 120 degrees. Now the temperature outside was about 92 degrees today, and this was at 6 p.m. here, so it gets really, really hot. And as you can see, I was forging today. So, and I felt inspired to tell you guys how to kind of keep cooler. Now I'm not a safety police type person where you have to follow every PPP, PPE, personal protective equipment type thing and all these safety things because I firmly believe you are old enough to make the decision to do this. Your health and wellness is your responsibility, not mine. So if I don't follow all of it, don't follow what I do, okay? I'm not here for that. But I do realize that there are people out there who may not know certain things and you don't see a lot of it talked about on a lot of blacksmith sites or channels and i want to kind of give you guys some tips and tricks on to keep yourself cooler because that is a major thing um, that you should definitely consider while blacksmithing um, is how to keep yourself cool so that way you don't become a heat casualty and by heat casualty i mean like suffering from heat exhaustion heat stroke or something along those lines not like i burned myself so right, guys let's go ahead and let's get into our six tips tip number one that's going to be proper ventilation. Make sure you have proper ventilation while forging. You could be like me and be stuck in a garage or in a shed or something along the lines and you're not going to have a whole lot of ventilation. You know, maybe you just have one door open like a garage door or something like that, you know, and it gets real hot and stuffy inside the forge or in the smith shop there, the smithy. Well, make sure you have good ventilation. Open windows if you have them or have a fan turned on to help circulate that hot air out and move it around. Plus, if you have a propane forge, you want good ventilation because you don't want a buildup of carbon dioxide or monoxide, whatever it is, inside where you're forging, okay? That's gonna cause a lot of problems down the road, especially with cognitive abilities, you know, dizziness, lightheadedness, stuff, which can also be a sign of heat exhaustion uh, as well. So make sure you have proper ventilation so that airflow will help keep you and your shop cooler. Tip number two is gonna be have a fan blowing on you. So while you are not forging, you know, you're letting your steel heat up or something like that, go move in front of the fan. Um, now what I like to do is I'll sit on the floor and you know, you don't have to, sometimes I'll just sit on the chair, but heat rises. So I'll try to get lower where it's cooler and I'll have that fan hit me directly and out of the way from the forge. That way I am staying cooler. The cool air is gonna help with the evaporation process, which is gonna help lower that your core temperature so you're not gonna overheat. So make sure that you are doing whatever you can to keep cooler. And one of those tricks is just sit in front of the fan. Tip number three, which I probably should have stated as tip number one, is stay hydrated. Okay, I know there's a lot of smiths that love to drink cold beer. I'm guilty of drinking sodas, but you need to try to drink as much water as possible. That's the best way to stay hydrated. In fact, you wanna drink cool water if you can, because that, again, will help cool your internal temperature a little bit and prevent you from getting too hot. It's also really refreshing. A little pro tip, drink your cold water in front of the fan. So not only are you cooling off from an external source, but you're cooling off internally. So stay hydrated and stay cool that way. It's probably one of the top reasons people start to feel a little uh, sick or nauseous or something along those lines. So stay hydrated, cannot stress enough. If you're done forging, then have your beer uh, to, and relax. But after you had like at least a bottle of water to kind of replenish what you lost, I would suggest more though, but that's just me. Tip four. Use a cool, damp cloth around your neck. Now, I don't do this one very often, but I do do it once in a while. And this is a trick I learned in Afghanistan when I was in the army. And that is put a cool cloth around your neck. You got two major blood vessels. You got an, uh, your jugular and your carotid arteries, right? Go through your neck. By putting a cold cloth around it, it's gonna help cool the blood and help distribute it through your whole body and cooling you down a little bit more efficiently. In fact, I take it, that wet rag, and I put it in the freezer so that it's even cooler and it can stay on my neck itself a little longer. And then once it kind of warms up, I then put it back in the freezer. Hey, bonus tip here again. If you want the trifecta, put that on your neck while drinking cold water, standing in the front of the fan. That will definitely help cool you down. So that is another little trick to kind of keep you cooler. Tip five okay wear loose fitting clothing all right so this is um i know what i'm gonna say here might be controversial to some blacksmiths and just hear me out on why okay 
Now you'll notice that in some of my videos I'm wearing long pants, others I'm wearing shorts, okay? I rather have some minor scale burns, minor. And most of the time I'm too sweaty, my legs too sweaty that the scale hits it and the steam from the, the scale, whatever, doesn't do much to me. And I rather have small minor burns than suffer from heat exhaustion, heat stroke. And it's very, I don't even feel the burn about 10, 15 minutes later anyway. So it's very minor, all right? So I like to wear shorts or wear you know, a kilt if you have it, if you're into that kind of thing. I don't mind wearing a kilt. Um, but wear something that's loose fitting and not so constrictive, all right? That way it allows airflow to go through your body, helping cooling you more efficiently. So the looser the fitting the clothes and the least amount of clothes you wear. I'm not saying not to forge without a shirt. You can though. I don't mind, you know, if that's what you want to do. But the least amount of the, you know, loose clothing, the least amount you can wear like shorts or something like that, the better it's going to help keeping you cooler. So wear loose fitting clothing. Tip number six, that's gonna be wear cotton. All right, so in a lot of survival things such as hiking, camping, and stuff like that, they tell you cotton kills. And that's because cotton has a very poor insulating factor, especially when it's wet. It sucks the heat out of your body and you can suffer from, you know, from hypothermia, all right? So cooling your body temperature too much. Well, here in the forge, one thing you wanna do is you wanna wear cotton for a couple of reasons. One, cotton doesn't catch fire, it smolders a little bit and you can pat it out. If you're using a synthetic material, it tends to melt and it'll stick to the skin. So you really don't want synthetics because of that. But another thing is because it holds moisture very well, it acts as a heat sink and it pulls the heat from you, cooling you down more efficiently, especially if you're getting hit with the cool air. Back in the day, these shirts here, you see me wearing these brown ones and even sometimes the tan ones, these were issued to me in the army. And these are cotton because the idea behind it was is that while one of the ways it keeps you cooler is the sweat will collect on it and as the air passes through, it cools you down. Now they've kind of went away with that with sweat wicking because they found that wetter the clothes on you for too long, you develop rashes and you have all these problems. You're not going to be in this, you know, hopefully for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, we're talking like you know, 14, 15, 16, 17 hours, you know, and then it gets cool like that. It, you will be taking these off and changing something drier later on, so you should be fine. But you want to wear cotton because it's got poor insulating factor and it'll help keep you cooler because it's generally loose fitting. And if it does get wet, it's going to help cool you off even more. So wear cotton. Well, guys, there you go. That was six tips to help keep yourself cooler while forging. Now, before I end this video, please heed these warnings. If you feel lightheaded, dizzy, nauseous or any of those things at all stop forging right away turn the forge off and go cool off right away take a cool shower something to get your body temperature down drink lots of water um, as well and please if it's really bad consult a doctor your health is that important that forge is not that important just shut it off and go cool off so do that with that guys hopefully you found this video helpful if you have go ahead and hit that like button also got any comments or suggestions leave them down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell for more notifications with that guys thank you for watching and i'll see you later